Blub, 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 that's a fish. Today we're gonna do whale, dolphin, or lucky fish. I think it's part three, okay? Uh, I don't think I get to give away anything this week. Kind of bummed. We're close to our 900 goal though. Maybe next week we'll get to give something away cool. All right, so we're gonna do whale, fish, or lucky, oh no, sorry, whale, dolphin, or lucky fish, is that what this is? Uh, so this is my, my series where I kind of, you've sent in your stories and uh, I get to read your story uh, to the masses, to the, the, the whopping 864 people who are subscribed to my channel. I read your story, and then the comment section uh, says if you are a whale, if you're a dolphin, or if you're simply a lucky fish. Um, and this is the third episode. This one's a little more tempered. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. This is like, maybe maybe this will remind you of yourself, right? Like maybe you'll, you'll then be like, hey, I wanna share my story. And you can email me at kitchentabletcg at gmail.com. And uh, if it's good enough, I'll probably share your story in one of these videos, because it's great content. I really like it. So, all right, sit back, relax, and enjoy a nice story. Whale, dolphin, or lucky fish. Here we go. As a longtime Magic the Gathering player and Pokemon collector since the mid 90s, needless to say, I've had my fair share of regrets when it comes to buying and selling cards and collections I've had over the years. <laughs> I can tell you I'm the same way. I was watching uh, CCG Collectible Games YouTube videos of February of 2020. CCG, I don't know what that means. Uh, when I saw some videos involving competitive flesh and blood play in New Zealand, and it piqued my interest. So I messaged my LGS owner uh, if he could get any product, and he said, nope, it's the first time I've heard the, the name. So I did some research and I found some product from New Zealand, uh, single site that I saw lots of cards were sold out, but there was no sealed product. A few weeks later, uh, and suddenly there were some sealed WTR Alpha boxes on Amazon. They weren't Alpha at the time. I guess they were. There were some sealed WTR Alpha boxes on Amazon for $84.95, along with a starter deck of sealed box for the same price. So it must have been the sealed deck of starter boxes with permission from my wife, <laughs> asking her if I could make a small investment uh, into a new game. She begrudgingly, begrudgingly uh, said, okay, even though, even though she knew what that meant, I'm guessing he means that it wasn't going to eventually be a small investment. I had no intentions of opening the product aside from a couple of the starter pre-cons. Interesting. So this guy was buying, I guess, to keep sealed as an, as an investment. But then he gets into this. Amidst the COVID shutdowns in California, boredom had already set in. <laughs> After a couple of days, he opened the two booster boxes he purchased. The first box, he says, nothing real special. He got a breaking scales cold foil. Uh, but the second box uh, was much different. Second box, uh, he pulled a mask of momentum and another breaking scales cold foil. And uh, he said that the mask of momentum, just the beauty of the card told him that he hit something special. So he went to back to that New Zealand single site that he, he spoke of earlier, and he saw that the card was sold out at 125 bucks. He was beyond excited that he made his money back, right? Like you open a booster box, and you're like, oh, I made my money back. It's like amazing, right? So without the wife's, now he said, without my wife's, <laughs> so without the wife's permission, I bought two more boxes thinking, what would I lose? With all intentions to crack them, uh, once he did, he got them in and he cracked them. He got, so this is box three and four. He got another mask of momentum and a tectonic plate. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> four boxes, three, three legendaries. He got, oh my gosh, and two more cold foils, an iron rot legs and a, a goliath gauntlet. Oh, I also got two Tome of Fandales and an Enlightened Strike. Oh my gosh. You should have recorded this box opening, dude. Uh, always record your box openings. All right, uh, as I could tell the Strongs were, and he could tell that those, uh, the Tome and the Enlightened Strike were, were strong for play. Little did I know how crazy the pulls were, he says. Uh, all right, so then he says, he gets into ARC first, right? He says, uh, I wanted to buy ARC first uh, when it released, uh, but he was selling his home and moving his family across the country. Uh, and so it just wasn't the best timing for that. So and he says it's an obvious regret. Yeah, I, I think we all have, I, I passed off on Rudy's alpha kit. I was like, no, no, I'm not getting into a new game. And then, uh, yeah, anyway. 
so let's see. Uh, I was able to purchase two crew boxes after moving for $100 each. And even though I didn't get the crazy pulls, he was still very happy with the price point. And that brings him to today, where he has just ordered two Arcane Unlimited boxes for $125 each. He, he put in parentheses, outrageous, I'm paying $40 more per box uh, than my WTR Alphas. Uh, so he can build a Ranger deck. Oh, cool, Azalea. My friend's got a, a Ranger deck. Uh, and then he got some sweet singles on eBay, like he got a Azalea Rainbow Foil for $35 bucks and some other first edition foils uh, from Alpha in the five to twenty dollar range yeah i remember when those were like you could get majestics even and or like yeah like the majestic rainbow foils at like 30 40 bucks like crazy uh so his question so do i sell my cold foil hits so he can invest in more flesh and blood in the future releases uh do i hold do i hold hoping i have first edition power 12 cards something he never got to do in magic the gathering does he send them into bgs for grading how cool is it that you can have a game that you could actually play with the graded cards? I'm beyond excited about the potential of this game and I've already had an amazing blast building constructed and blitz decks. Hope this was a fun read for you and enjoy watching your content and like how much you enjoy talking about the game. Sincerely, and he calls himself a lucky fish uh, and I will just say his initials DM because uh, I don't know if he wanted me to, uh, to say his name. Anyway, uh, so man, this is awesome. Like, I think this guy just got super lucky. Not, I guess I don't even know if I would even call him a lucky fish. I, you know, I would because of his booster boxes, three legendaries and four boxes. That's amazing. Uh, so he's definitely a lucky fish. He's definitely playing the game. Uh, maybe you call him a dolphin, right? He's thinking of, uh, he's thinking about, Hey, should I sell? Should I, you know, to buy more product? I would, I would kind of consider him. I think he's right on. He's a lucky fish, but uh, man, I love these stories. Like, I love these stories of people who, who got into the game and, like, he was, th this is my story. Like, I got in the game just like he was. Like, I, I originally bought boxes just to keep sealed because my Magic the Gathering sealed collection uh, and, you know, my, my sealed Magic the Gathering investment stuff. And I had no intentions of picking up a new game. And then I started watching, and like he said, like I, he's like, I got bored and I opened some boxes. I got bored and I started watching box openings and then I decided to open my own boxes. Uh, and, and it's the same thing. I just love these stories of people who bought with one intention and then fell in love with the game because the gameplay is so good. So uh, it's really cool. Uh, dude, I hope uh, we get to play some games together on webcam. And uh, this is a great story. So leave your in the comments if you agree. Is he a whale? Is he a dolphin? Or is he a lucky fish? And, uh, and, and just share your story down there too. Um, man, what a great story. Hey, I hope you have a great day. Hope you're remembering to be kind to the people around you. And uh, it's going to be a good week. I can't wait uh, to share just some stuff that's coming out. And um, hope you have a good one.